Okay, well, we can find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I'll go into a yoga flow with you guys, if that is okay. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here. Tucking our tummies in at our navel, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice, elongated spine helps us control the body. As we relax our shoulders down away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Placing our palms flat on our laps, just allowing the body to relax and soothe. Taking that nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Solid meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms up above, coming into that seated salute, that pelvic bone is tilted forward, heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Interlacing those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing the arms to slightly flow to the back of the room. We're going to keep that chin up, heart chakra is lifted. You may feel this in your lumbar spine. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, straighten the net body. We're going to separate our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. When our palms are separated, it is an extended mountain. When our palms are together, it is that salute. So separating those palms, we're going to twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, coming into that spinal twist. Slightly gazing over that right shoulder. Noticing how this twist feels in the body. This spinal twist allows the spine to soothe and decompress. As we take a nice breath, exhale. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, coming into that seated star. And the star as our palms are out towards the side. In an extended mountain, our palms are up, not together. In that star, our palms come slightly outwards towards the side. We're going to keep that heart chakra lifted, that chin up, that pelvic bone is tilted upwards. Notice how that allows the spine to become nice and elongated. As we take a nice breath, exhale, twist the body towards the left, palms to come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Spinal twist opposite side, noticing how this twist feels in that lumbar spine, your lower back. Gazing the eyes down, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Coming into that salute. Exhaling down the prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. A lot of times we sit shrugged with our shoulders slightly upwards. Allowing those shoulders to relax down helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we breathe our feet into a bound position, coming into either a diamond or a butterfly. Now, the diamond and the butterfly looks very similar. These are bound poses. The butterfly, the feet are closer to the body. And that diamond pose, the feet are slightly away from the body. So the butterfly is a little bit deeper of a hip flexor. And if this was kids yoga, we might ask the kids to hold their feet and we may ask them to um, flap their wings like the butterfly does. And maybe we can give it a try, noticing that when we are moving our legs up and down, flapping those butterfly wings, you may feel it here in your inner thighs, your hip flexors here. Flapping and flapping the wings is an option. 
We can allow my legs to just relax and soothe, and I am in that butterfly. We can option to go into the diamond, and you can still flap your legs in the diamond as well. And if we want to feel a little deeper hip flexor here, we can either flap those wings or we can hinge at the hips. Now, I'm noticing that when we hinge forward, you may feel it a little deeper in your inner thighs. So if it feels any pain, maybe we can breathe those feet slightly away from our body, coming more into that diamond pose and allow our torso to relax between the thighs. We can allow those shoulder blades to melt forward. We can allow that head to drop downward towards our feet. Coming even deeper in that bound position as we are hinged forward. You may even feel that pull in your lumbar spine, your lower back. As we take a nice breath, exhale, allowing the eyes to gaze down and close, feeling the body completely relax. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using the hands to push the body up, coming back into that bound position, either that diamond or that butterfly. We're going to use our hands to breathe our legs inward and begin to straighten our legs side by side, coming into that staff pose. Our legs are parallel. Our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated. We're going to gaze forward, placing our palms on our laps, sitting here in this staff pose, just taking a moment to check in. Breathe in, exhale, as we slightly hinge at the hips, and we are in that seated half forward fold. When we hinge at the hips, you may feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings, feeling that pull, feeling the body lengthen. Now we can keep our toes pointing upwards at the heavens, or we can point them downward towards the earth in a ballerina's foot. Whatever feels good for you. We can also option to flow into a complete forward fold, seated forward fold, by allowing our hands to touch our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. As our shoulders melt forward towards our thighs, we can drop our head downward towards our knees if that feels good for you, feeling that full stretch. As we take a nice breath, exhale. Feel any eyes gaze downward or slightly close. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that half forward fold, coming back up to that staff pose, straightening that body nice and long. Legs are still parallel side by side. As we breathe our palms upwards, palms come above our head in that salute. Interlacing those fingers with that pointed finger pointing up, allowing the arms to slightly flow to the back of the room. We're going to keep that heart chakra lifted, that chin up. Two breaths. Exhaling back to straight, nice straight back, breathing our palms down that heart center, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale, breathing our palms to the side as we flow them back up, coming into that salute. Exhale the prayer. Breathing those palms off to the side, flowing them up in the air. Coming together in that salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop pose. We are on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to drop that tummy down, allowing that tummy to come downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. You may feel this in your lumbar spine, cow pose. 
I'm just going to hang out here in this cow pose, taking a moment to notice how it feels in that lumbar spine, that lower back. Two more breaths. As we flow to that cat, tucking that chin and our clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the heavens. We're going to breathe that tummy inward towards the navel. Cat pose. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center and we're going to come into a child's pose, breathing our buttocks to the heels of our feet. Our torso is relaxed between our thighs. Our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. As we extend our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth, it makes it an extended child's pose. Allowing that forehead, that third eye chakra to connect to the earth. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt into the earth. With our third eye chakra connected to our yoga mat. Feeling one with our environment. Maybe take this time to go inward. Noticing how we feel within. Right here, right now, in our present moment. Without judgment. Simply being aware. Five breaths of silence. We can option to breathe our palms together and flow them over our head in a prayer hands. Child's pose, if that feels good. Four more breaths. We're going to slightly come upwards. We're going to breathe our thighs together. Our buttocks is high in the air. And we're going to flow into a puppy pose. In a puppy pose, our buttocks is nice and high. Our torso comes downward towards the earth. <clears throat> Extended puppy. Our arms are in front of us. Palms are flat on the earth. Third eye chakra, foreheads connected to the earth. Puppy pose. Taking a moment to notice how the puppy pose and the child pose looks very similar. They just feel a little differently in the body, but they are both resting poses. As we take a nice breath, exhale. We can option to flow into a prayer hands puppy pose if that feels good by breathing our palms together and flowing them over our heads. Or we can be in that extended puppy pose with our arms stretched out in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Whatever we choose. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave that body forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Just feeling that spine wave. This is relaxing and decompressing that spinal cord. Optioning to rotate that head, your neck, into the flow as well. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find that pause coming into a tabletop. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. We're going to drop that tummy down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale, cat. Coming to our table. We're going to come up onto our hands and our knees. We're going to work on a camel pose here. So our hands is at the bottoms of our backs. Fingertips facing downward towards our buttocks. And we're going to tilt that pelvic bone forward. 
Notice how our pelvic bone tilts forward. Our shoulders, our spinal cord slightly leans towards the back. Our head comes up, gazing up at the heavens. This camel pose is a slight back bend. <clears throat> and we can option to interlace our fingers together and allow our hands to just flow downward our back. Come in a little deeper in that pose. Or we can option to connect our right hand to our right heel and lean towards the back of that camel. And also breathe the left hand to the left heel if that feels good, or we can switch sides, doing a left hand to the left heel and a right hand to the right heel. Mm -hmm. Whatever camel we are in, may we use this pose to check in with our spinal cord. We are flexing, we are bending here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out of that camel. We're gonna come back onto our hands and our knees and we're gonna come down to that puppy pose. This puppy pose is a relaxing pose from that camel. Or we can come into a child's pose if that feels good for you. We're using this puppy and this child's pose to notice how our back feels, noticing how we feel within our bodies. Four breaths. Child's pose or puppy pose. Two more breaths. And we're going to flow on to our tummies here. Coming into a Spanx pose. Legs are straight behind us. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged. Allowing our shoulders and our ears to be far apart. That gives us control of our bodies. And you may feel this Spanx pose in your lumbar back. This is a slight back bend. It's allowing us to check in with our bodies. Our palms can be together if that feels good, or they can be flat on the earth or together. Whatever feels best for you. We're going to keep that chin up. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. And we're going to allow our bodies to completely relax down, lifting our arms up, lifting our feet off the earth. Superman, Supergirl pose. Our arms are extended in front of us. Feet are off the earth. And we are like we're flying. We're on our tummies. Now, this Superman, Supergirl pose works the back of the legs, the gluteus maximus. It works the arms. It works the back legs and the shoulders. And we're going to hang out here in this pose and just keep our bodies elevated off the earth. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. <clears throat> As we swim our hands to the back, our hands are parallel with our legs. Palms are up facing the ceiling, the heavens. Now we're in that locust pose. The locust pose works the back blades the gluteus maximus, the backs of the arms as well. Holding his pose, two more breaths. Fill in a burn. We're going to take a breath. Exhale, holding his pose and just allowing the body to just relax in his pose. Forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth. Shoulder blades melts forward. We are now in that sleeping locus. Giving the body a moment to relax. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Shoulders melt into the earth. Eyes are gaze down. Four breaths.
slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, lifting our bodies up. We are back in that locust pose, lifting those feet off the earth, lifting the hands, the shoulders, torso off the earth. What the top part of the torso, shall I say? We are still on our tummies. Chin is up. We're going to have some fun here. We're going to try to breathe our right foot to our right hand, connecting that right foot to that hand. We are in that half bow. And we can hang out here in this half bow, or we can come into a full bow, connecting that left hand to that left foot. Now we're in that full bow. Or we can just do one hand, one leg at a time, whatever feels best for your body. And in this bow, we are using our hands, our ankles to lift our torso even further off the earth. We are completely on our tummies alone. Our chest is off the earth. Our thighs are off the earth. This is a nice back bend. Keeping that chin up. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out. Breathing our hands forward. Stacking our palms on top of each other. Coming into a sleeping crack of doubt. Allowing our chin or our cheeks or our forehead to relax on our palms as our shoulders melts forward and our head relaxes downward towards the earth, resting on our palms. This is a rest pose. Rest pose. As we take a nice breath, exhale. Close in the eyes if that feels good. Shoulders are melted into the earth. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out. We're going to come back into that Sphinx pose. We are back on our forearms. Shoulders are not shrugged. Shoulders are away from the ears, having that control of that body. Chin is up. Heart chakra is lifted. You may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we push our bodies up, we're going to come into a down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pillowing our feet, left and right. We're going to find that pause. We're going to breathe that right foot up in the air, coming into a three-legged dog. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose. We're going to breathe this foot forward, coming into a pigeon pose. Breathe the next foot in front of us. Leg comes in front of the body. Right legs to the front, left legs to the back. Pigeon pose. You'll feel this here in your hips. We can come into a sleeping pigeon by allowing our bodies to come down to the floor, or we can use our hands to keep our torso up away from that thigh in this pigeon pose. Whatever pigeon feels best for you, sleeping pigeon or upwards pigeon. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. And we can option to flow into a king pigeon by allowing the left foot to connect to the left hand. We also can use a strap when we're doing this. Or we can flow into a pyramid. I'm sorry, a mermaid, by breathing that left leg slightly out to the side and hooking it into your elbow. So the um, mermaid and a king pigeon looks very similar. Except in a mermaid, the legs are slightly out towards the side. And a pigeon, king pigeon, the leg is more behind us. So whatever pigeon that feels best for you on your body, we're going to hold it four breaths. 
Keeping in mind that a strap is a great way to get into our pigeon or our mermaid holes. Two more breaths. I'm gonna exhale out, coming back into that regular pigeon. That left leg is straight behind. Optioning to flow into that sleeping pigeon if we were in our upright pigeon, just allowing the torso to relax downward towards that thigh. Feeling the shoulders melt forward, head melts downward towards the knee. The eyes are closed or slightly gazed down. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out of that sleeping pigeon. We're going to untuck that thigh, coming back to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we flow into that three-legged pigeon opposite side, left leg flows up in the air, gazing back at the foot. Holding us for two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath. Breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna flow that left leg forward. Left leg comes in front of the body. Right leg is straight out towards the back now. We are in that pigeon, opposite side. And we can option to flow down into that sleeping pigeon if our bodies just wanna relax and soothe. Or we can use those hands to lift that torso away from the earth. Keeping that heart chakra lifted, that chin is up. We are in our upright pigeon or our sleeping pigeon. Whatever the body feels it needs today. Taking a nice breath, exhale. Optioning to flow into that king pigeon, using that strap if we may, or using our hand, lifting that right foot up into that right hand. Or we can flow into that mermaid, breathing that right leg slightly out towards the side and cuffing it in your elbow. Whatever feels best for you. We're gonna hold this pose Noticing how it feels within the body. Simply being aware. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And if we're in our upright pigeon, you know, let that feet relax to the back, twist our bodies forward, coming back into that regular upright pigeon. And we're going to flow down to that sleeping pigeon, allowing the hands to relax downwards. Torso relaxes over that front thigh, head melts downward towards the knee. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. As we feel the body relax and soothe, four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that sleeping pins and using our hands to lift our torso away from the earth. We're going to untuck that foot. We're going to come back into that down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. Walking that dog by pedal on the feet, left and right. We're going to find that pose. We're going to walk our feet towards our hands, coming to a complete forward fold. We are in our standing complete forward fold. Head is relaxed downward towards the earth. Or we can come into a half forward fold if we don't want to go into that complete forward fold. They are both stretching and lengthening poses. 
You may feel that pull behind your leg and your hamstrings. Of course, complete forward folds, half forward folds are good for people who have tight hamstrings. As we allow our head to relax downward towards the earth, if we're in that complete forward fold, Optioning two, once we have a nice stance, legs are slightly apart, we can allow the body to rock or sway from side to side. Noticing that when we rock and sway that body from side to side, you're going to feel it a little bit more in those hamstrings. You're going to feel that stretch. You're going to feel that pull. You're going to feel that lengthening. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Nice and wide legged here. We're going to connect our hands to the earth if we're able. We're going to slightly gaze up. We are in that wide legged half forward fold. Tummies are nice and tight, tucked in at our navel. Maybe our fingertips are connected to the earth. We can also bring that yoga block in front of us and place our palms flat on the yoga block if that feels best. And we can option to bring our hands behind our backs interlacing those fingers. And we can drop that head completely downward towards the earth, allowing those shoulders to just relax downward and lifting the hands up towards the ceiling, towards the heavens. And you'll feel this squeeze in those shoulder blades together. We are opening up the shoulders here. We are stretching the body behind the legs and the hamstrings. We're working the back. Our heart chakra is connected to our thighs. So it's also soothing and regulating the heartbeat. Whatever pose we are in, we're going to relax here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Uninterlacing those hands, we're going to bring those fingertips back downward towards the earth or to that yoga block. We're nice and wide legged and we're going to rock or sway that body from side to side. Allowing the head to drop down, allowing the shoulders to relax downward. Two more breaths. We can option to flow into a rag dial by connecting our hands to our elbows if that feels good. Two more breaths. Finding that pause, we're going to breathe our legs together, flowing back into that down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're going to shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. High plank, we are working our shoulders, our back legs. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to down dog. Mm. Walking that dog if you choose. Blowing back to high plank. Tummies are tight. Exhaling back down dog. Mm. Walking our feet to our hands. We're going to come down into that yogi squat. <sighs> Palms are on the earth. We're going to allow our torso to relax between our thighs. We're kind of in that frog pose now. We look like we're in that frog when they're ready to hop. We're just going to hang out here, allowing the torso to relax downward. Shoulders relax down. Head melts down if we choose. Or we can keep that head up in that frog. 
and we just have our palms connected to the earth. We are opening up our hip flexors here. As we breathe in, exhale, slightly lifting our bodies up, coming back into that yogi squat. We're going to keep that right hand connected to the earth as we extend that left hand up in the air, fingertips flows towards the heavens, and we're going to gaze up at the left fingertips. Feeling a stretch, feeling a slight twist. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, breathing that left palm back down towards the earth. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale, we're going to breathe that right hand up towards the heavens. Fingertips flows towards the ceilings as we are gazed at our right fingertips. Feeling that spinal twist. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly breathing that palm down. We're going to breathe our palms at heart center, using our elbows to keep our legs apart. Gaze forward. We can close our eyes if we choose, working on that balance. We can slightly gaze the eyes downwards if that feels good as well. Four breaths. Two breaths. If our eyes are slightly closed and gaze down, noticing how the body's moving slightly, noticing the tiny muscles we are using at our ankles, the lower parts of our bodies. Just by closing our eyes, the body naturally engages those muscles we barely use around the ankles as we are keeping our balance. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to lift our bodies up. We're going to come into that squat pose. We're going to work on our lower parts of our bodies. We're just going to squat that body. We can also option to come into a goddess stance. So either squat or goddess stance here. So we got to work the quads. we got to work the upper parts of those legs here. So we can squat it up and we can pulse it up and down in our squat or our goddess god stance. Or we can rock and sway that body from side to side. We are working our quads, the leg muscles, and the upper parts of the legs here. Six breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, exhale, left the standing star, keeping those legs nice and wide-legged, breathing our palms outward towards the side. We are in that standing star. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. We're going to hold this star, keeping those hands to the side, keeping that chin up. Eyes slightly gaze downward or closed. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center, breathing our legs together, coming into that standing prayer. 
Eyes are slightly gazed down with a closed. As we slightly hinge at the hips, keeping the prayer hands. Backs are straight, gaze forward. Noticing how this feels behind your legs and in that back. Exhale to complete forward fold, dropping the hands downward towards the ankles. Head melts downward, filling a stretch. <clears throat> Two more breaths. Walking the hands forward, we are back in that down dog. Gazing at the feet, tummies are tucked. Flowing onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We are on our forearms. Gaze at the back of the room. Maybe we can walk our feet slightly closer to the body. This here is a headstand prep pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. We're going to come into our child's pose or our puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you. Allowing a heart chakra, the heart chakra to come closer to the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Or we can come into a prayer hands, child's pose or puppy pose. As our third eye chakra forehead connects to the earth. Maybe our eyes are gazed down with a closed. Shoulder blades, heart chakra comes closer to the earth. Mind, body, and souls relaxing. As we are going inward. Checking in with self. Noticing how we feel. Without judgment. Being aware of how we are feeling within. Always being kind and loving to oneself. May we relax here. Silent meditation. Seven natural breaths. Four more breaths. Spinal wave in our bodies out of our child's pose or our puppy pose. Using our palms to wave that body forward. Using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Two more breaths. We're going to find that body at center coming into our tabletop pose. And we're going to drop that body down to our cow. Breathe in, exhale to cat. Come and pack the table, crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that position. Breathe in deeply, exhale. We're gonna flow into a spinal twist. Twisting our right hand behind our backs. Left hand comes to that right knee, gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Four. 
Exhale into center. Spinal twist opposite side. Allowing the eyes to gaze down to close. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms up, coming into that star. Exhaling into that seated extended mountain. Palms are above our heads. They are not together. Exhale into that salute. Breathing those palms together above the head. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Come into prayer. Palms come down that heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. As we breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two breaths of silence. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and teaching training here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.